All right, first thing we're gonna do is clean and optimize your main drive. This step alone can fix a ton of that 100% disk usage issue. So go to the search bar, type this PC and open it. Now look for your main drive. Usually it's disk C, the one with the little Windows logo on it. Right click on it, then hit properties. At the top, go to the tools tab. Now we're in business. Step one, turn off scheduled optimization. Click on the optimize button. If you see that optimization is turned on, don't worry, we're gonna fix that. Click change settings and just uncheck the box that says run on a schedule, then hit okay. We don't want windows touching our disk constantly in the background. That's part of what's causing the 100% usage. Next step, analyze and optimize manually. Now back in the optimize window, click on your main drive, usually C, and press analyze. Wait for it to finish scanning. Then click optimize. Let it do its thing. This runs smarter than the automatic one and only when you want. Once that's done, go back to the general tab in the properties window. At the bottom, click disk cleanup. A window will pop up. Check everything on the list. Don't worry, it's all safe to delete. Then click clean up system files. This will scan deeper stuff like Windows update leftovers and error reports. Let finish. Might take a minute, but it's 100% worth it. This step gets rid of junk files, resets Windows disk schedules, and gives you back control. Less load, more speed, straight up. Go to the search bar, type device manager, and open it. Once you're in, scroll down and expand the section called ID ATA slash ATOPI controllers. Right click on each item you see there and choose update driver. A window will pop up, click search automatically for drivers. If it says you already have the best drivers installed, that's cool, you're good. But don't stop there. I highly recommend clicking the link below that says search for updated drivers on Windows Update. That makes sure Windows checks online for the newest versions, not just the local ones. Once you're done with ID ATA, scroll further down and find storage controllers. Same process, right click each one update driver search automatically check Windows Update 2. Why this matters. Even with an SSD, outdated drivers can slow things down or keep your disk usage stuck at 100%. First, click on the search bar at the bottom left of your screen. Type services, then hit enter. A new window will open. Scroll down the list until you find connected user experiences. Now right click on it, then click on properties. In the new window, find the option called startup type. Click on it and choose disable from the list. After that, click apply and finally click OK. Now scroll down again until you find SysMain. Same thing, right click on it, then click on properties. In the new window, choose disabled from the list. After that, click apply and finally click OK. And now for the last and most important one, scroll down and look for Windows search. If you can stop the service from running, go ahead, right click on it and press stop. But if you can't stop the service from running, Open the search bar again and type CMD. Right click command prompt and choose run as administrator. In the black window, type this command. Next stop Windows search. Hit enter and wait until it says Windows search was stopped successfully. Now go back to the services window and hit the refresh button at the top. You'll see that Windows search is now stopped. Same thing, right click on it then click on Properties and disable it like the other services. Go to the search bar, type Settings and open it. From there, click on System, then go to Notifications and Actions. Once you're in, scroll down, you'll see a list of apps sending you notifications. All those pop-ups and alerts running in the background? Yeah, they can slow your system down, especially if you're on an older PC. You can either turn off notifications for individual apps you don't need, or just turn off the top switch that says, get notifications from apps and other senders. All right, we're gonna scan your drive for errors and fix any hidden problems that could be causing that 100% disk usage. Go to the search bar, type CMD, right click it, and run it as administrator. Now type this command exactly like I'm doing, then hit enter. This step will detect and fix file system errors. Mark and isolate bad sectors. 
and help reduce disk thrashing caused by corrupted data. It may ask to run on next boot, type yes and hit enter. Now wait until it's sad this volume will be checked the next time the system restarts. Now just restart your PC and Windows will automatically run check disk during boot. It may take some time depending on your drive size and condition. So be patient and don't interrupt it. After it finishes, check Task Manager again to see if the disk usage dropped. Go to the search bar, type Windows Security and open it. Then click on Virus and Threat Protection. First, press Check for Updates under the Protection Update section. Always update before scanning. You want the latest definitions to catch everything. Now scroll up and click on Scan Options. Oh, you'll see four scan types. If you don't have much time, do a quick scan. It checks the most common areas. But if you want to be sure your system is clean, I recommend going for full scan. It takes longer, but it checks every file and folder, even the hidden stuff that could be wrecking your performance.